All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bale. And we're looking at the pulse motor generator. I'm going to break it down for you. Uh, I'm going to get it going. And I'll explain a little bit about it. Okay, this is a 5.7 pulse motor. This is five coils for the pulse motor, which is this big one here. The two one millimeter coils for power. And the two four filer coils there for speed. And this is for stability. This eats up the amps so you don't burn anything out. It has a lot of pushing power in and of itself. And then the generation, we got this style coil. I want all of the generation coils to be this style. And there it is. Look at that. The amount of voltage being generated and the light is now lighting up. But currently, we have six coils that are 32 gauge. Six thirty-two gauge coils, um, but like I said, a lot of them are that size, and I want them to be this size for the core. See, look at that. That's nowhere near what we could get. And let me lastly discuss magnets on the rotor. Uh, they can be. A little bit farther apart than they are right now there can be a few a few less magnets on there and you get better readings you'll get better readings because uh, with the proper you know, uh, distance between the magnets you utilize the space in between them better so right now this is uh, 12 <coughs> magnets in there so close together that the fields overlap tremendously uh, which does not utilize the space in between effectively. So you know, the other thing is that it would be nine magnets would be light, a lot lighter than twelve. Uh, the only problem with nine is is that it's asymmetrical. And uh, but that's okay. It's quite all right having the asymmetrical. Uh, rotor is not a bad thing. I've run it with uh, the nine magnets and it, it, it generates more electricity than the 12th. And I was like, yeah, we're, we're upgrading to 12. It's going to be so much better and it's just not better. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the coils. And right now, because the light's on, it, it Stalls out about 61, 62. But if I turn that switch off, it's going to go up. I think this is, uh, for what it is, I think it's really well built. Uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure uh, what's going on, but I do think that that is awesome. The next thing I want to try and hook up is uh, a bridge rectifier. And if I hook it up with the light in there, it's going to slow it down even more. So there's essentially two circuits in a pulse motor. There's a generator circuit and there's a pulse motor circuit. Yeah. So I did it all in reverse. It's okay.
All right, should I? I feel like I want to turn the light off and see what happens. But I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm all fingers right now. All right, so that's that's pretty much it right now. I, I have a lot of work to do. I had more of those coils, but the the ends broke off because they're 32 gauge and just snapped off. Then I couldn't find the end. I ended up disposing of them. Look at that, look at that motion. That is like seamless. All right, well, have a good day. Peace out. Please subscribe. Bye now.